What's going on guys? My name's Tom, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about growing up in Australia. Australia! Having a no hat, no play rule at school, which basically meant if you didn't have a hat on your head, you weren't allowed to do anything. When summertime comes around, you learn how little body parts you need to steer a car. That's what I mean, the hottest thing in the planet can be a steering wheel or a seatbelt in summer. Wanting to get anything shipped to your house from a different country, but then having to pay like twice what the actual product's worth. Always having foreigners getting you to say phrases like chuck a shrimp on the barbie and thinking we say g'day mate. I'll slip an extra shrimp on the barbie for you. Making friends with that handsome spider that sits just up in the corner in your bedroom. Showing off to all your friends in summer by walking barefoot on the road. It's basically one of the toughest things you can do. Never truly understanding the term white Christmas. It never snows in Australia. Anywhere. Ever. Learning about drugs and sex from a talking giraffe in the back of a van. The oh so glorious Bunnings snag. I honestly feel sorry for anyone in any other country that's never experienced such a delicacy. Honestly, it's the best thing you could ever eat. Saturday morning, go down to Bunnings. What is even at Bunnings? Who knows? Sausage Sangers, that's what's there. That's what's there. Fairy bread, lamingtons, meat pies, sausage rolls. The robbery of 2003, when Guy Sebastian ripped the Australian Idol title away from Shannon Knowles' grass. Authorised by the Australian government, Canberra. Meeting people from other countries and telling them that in summer that you wear thongs, drop bears, spiders, everything wants to kill you. Going to school in 40 degree plus weather with no air conditioning. Swooping season, when every single toy ever gets banned from your school. Calling mates cunt and cunts mate. When the difference between summer and winter is either hot or fucking hot. Using your wheelie bin as a cricket stump when you don't have any. Sunny boys. Calling everyone mate, just because you don't know their name. The famous phrase, if you come to the canteen, I'll buy something for you. Have you ever, ever felt like this? Oh yeah, chuck a Yui. In summertime, having an infinite supply of Zupa Dupas in your freezer. When a good parking spot isn't measured by how close it is to your destination, but how close it is to some shade. The reading writing hotline ad, 13006555506. Not being able to use a blanket to sleep because it's 35 degrees in your bedroom. Using Smith's footy cards as an actual term of currency. These two cakes right here shaped many childhoods. Waiting for your favourite band to go on a world tour but figuring out that Australia really isn't part of the world. Did you say that home and away episode last night mate? Fairy bread. Playing handball with your friends, hitting a mad skimmer across the ground. It bounces on the line, everyone calls you out. You go and cry in the bathrooms alone. Yeah, nah means nah, and nah, yeah means yes. Rhonda and Kutut. Finishing the end of a day at primary school with a good old game of heads down, thumbs up. Learning how much Vegemite you can tolerate at a very young age. When you have a blowout, which is basically when like the part of your thong just comes out, tragic. Just fix it with the bread clip, easy as. Having to check the toilet seat for spiders before you do anything. Tim Tam slam. You bite the ends off a Tim Tam and then you use it like a straw to suck up your tea. Putting more Milo in a cup than milk. Stuffing your face with pavlova meat pies and sausage rolls on Australia Day. Fairy bread. VB mate! When your best mate belts you in the arm every time you see a yellow car or a punch buggy. Being asked by any foreigner if we ride kangaroos to school. Like no, I don't ride my kangaroo to school. He sits in my backyard and eats grass all day. When going on a holiday anywhere means travelling in a car with your family for 12 hours just to find out you're still in your own state. The Australian Royal Easter Show. And last but not least, are you really Australian if you don't have a deep conversation with one of your friends at a table that looks like this? <laughs> All right, that was the video guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. The button's just there. Um, let me know, leave a comment, let me know what you want me to do in the next video. See ya.